Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back. Well, not really welcome back. More like welcome to a brand new project. Kind of welcome back. We're going to be doing another Let's Build, another Conquest Let's Build. I just finished recording the uh, Hall of Edoras, and I'm still feeling really inspired to build with uh, Conquest mods. So we're going to be doing a little bit more of that today. This is a custom map. Uh, I, I believe it's called Nordic... Uh, Nordic Fjords. It's by uh, actually another YouTuber named Dukon Red One. He does a lot of building in Conquest. So if you like this type of content, I highly recommend you check him out. He's a very good builder. I've been watching him for quite a while, actually. I'll put a link to his channel in the description, and of course I'll put a link to the map and all the stuff that you would need to do this in the description as well. What we're going to be building is a bit of a Nordic village. Uh, in this little area here, the river kind of goes out to the ocean. And then it comes up here, and we've got this nice little kind of inlet where we've got mountains on both sides, and we've got a relatively flat area here, some hills, things like that. And I want to build a bit of a village here. I've already started kind of laying stuff out, but I wanted to bring you in for at least some of the planning. So we're going to be doing some planning in this episode, and we may be doing a little bit of building as well, depending on how much of this planning we get done. So I've got a few different colors of wool here. Uh, and each one is going to represent a different thing. So the brown wool represents our roads and our pathways, right? So you can see we've got uh, some stuff here. And then this road kind of comes up, wraps around, goes up there, goes this way. Uh, the yellow is residential buildings. So these will be like houses. Green is going to be like kind of outside community areas. So this might be like a little garden or a fountain or something like that. White is going to be kind of municipal buildings like docks. This is going to be a warehouse over here. Red is going to be military buildings of some sort like uh, guard towers, stuff like that. And I think we're going to put a guard tower right about here. That should be seven by seven. So what's that? 14. So we can lay out a guard tower here and plan to have one right there. Uh, let's see. And then blue is going to be for something else. I don't know what yet. Maybe shops or something like that. Um, but basically each of these things is going to represent a different uh, type of building. So here, and I should also mention, these are not exact uh, sizes and shapes. It, it's more of a rough idea. So I'm like, okay, right here I'm going to put a house. Stuff like that. I'm not really counting out these areas just yet. Uh, we'll tweak them and adjust them kind of as needed uh, so that we can fit what we need to fit. So, oh. so we're going to put... Oh, come on now. Can I not type? 35, 4. There we go. We'll put another house about here, I think. And then maybe right here we'll put a shop of some sort. Maybe a, a blacksmith or... Uh, something like that, and I think it's going to be relatively big. Maybe coming to about here or so. Uh, 35, 3? Yeah, so this will be... And maybe it'll extend back here a little bit more as well. But we'll get some houses and things that go over here. I think we'll probably want another warehouse kind of in here somewhere. Um, maybe a bigger one this time. So let's plan for a warehouse about there for all the docks, you know, shipping goods, things like that. And then we've got kind of a, a pathway that kind of winds up here. So we're going to want to do something. Let's see. I think this path I want to wind around this way like that and we'll put some other stuff up here as well maybe i'll put a little house this would be a good spot for a house like right in here um right about there there we go could maybe put a little house up on the hill Maybe we'll put, like, some stables over here, or maybe maybe a military barracks, like, kind of right over here somewhere. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, I think that's a good place for that. And you can kind of see how the, the whole thing is coming together. Now, when you're building a really large project, kind of like this is, it's very important that you put a little bit of time into kind of planning things out instead of just, you know, plopping down buildings wherever you might feel like it. Otherwise, it's just not going to be good. Bad things will happen. Um, maybe over here... This could be like maybe... Ooh, actually, this could be like a, a, a marketplace. Like over here-ish. We can plan for this whole thing to be a marketplace. That could be kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. And then we can have this road kind of come up through here. And then it would wrap around and meet up with this one. Yeah, that's kind of cute. And then we'll kind of work on some of this back stuff here later on. I think for now, we want to go ahead and kind of start working on this a little bit. We've got kind of an idea now of where some things are going to go. So we can come back and tweak things later. I do want to mark out with signs, though, what everything's going to be, just so I don't forget. So let me get that done, and then I'll come back. All right, guys, I am back. So the houses are all finished up, laid out, uh, or the houses. The signs are all put in place the way that we want them to be. So I think the first thing we should probably work on is these docks here. And I'm thinking... Uh, we're going to have a dock area here and then a dock area over here as well. So let's say here, um, how thick, uh, yeah, I think that's probably wide enough for our docks and then we'll leave a gap. Actually, I feel like those should come out a bit farther. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, maybe here. Um... Does that seem about right? How about there coming out? Yeah, that seems good. Okay, cool. Uh, and then actually what we should do is we should probably plan a little bit how, how far these are gonna kind of stick out. So maybe we'll bring them like this and we'll say every, what is this? One, two, three, four. So every four blocks, one, two, three, four. So we'd have another one there. And then one, two, three, four. Yeah. That seems pretty good. And we'll just kind of bring those up like so. So that would be one. Although size-wise, I think if the docks are gonna be that that long, they need to be out a little farther as well. So let's leave a gap of three between each one. There we go. And then... That should be good. Okay. And we will just break those. There we go. And that ought to do it, I think. That seems like... Yeah, that seems like a good height. Okay, cool. So now we can go here to here and go copy that. And then we can paste one of those in maybe about, let's see, I grabbed it from that side. So maybe about like here. Because we'll, I'm thinking we'll have like two of these docks. So let's go paste. Does that seem good? Let's maybe put it here instead. Yeah, that seems better. 
Okay, awesome. So we've got that kind of figured out. Now we can go ahead and do that. Walls, air, just get rid of that wool. And then what we can do here is come underneath, make sure that all of these are the same height, like so. And then we can just stack them downwards. Like 10, oh, undo. Just kidding, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Uh, Cause it will take the air with it, won't it? Hmm, okay, we'll let me get these pillars brought down a ways and we'll go from there. All right guys, I am back. So the next thing I'm gonna do is bring each of these logs up one block. And then we're gonna go ahead and take some slabs and I think we will grab oak slabs just because that seems like the most sensible choice to me. And we'll just kind of bring them like this. So they'll kind of hook in and they'll still be a little bit above the water. And then we'll go ahead and fill in these dock areas like this. There we go. And very, very simple little dock design. Works very well. Nothing super complicated here. But it's a good starting point from us for some other things. And a few things that this will do for us. First of all, it'll uh, be at a limit where we can put stuff here. So like if I want to grab, for example, crates like these and just kind of plop some of them down on the docks like they're being ready to be moved around and stuff like that. Maybe some barrels as well because there's a bunch of that type of stuff in the Conquest Texture Pack. We have the ability to do that. And it's just basically a way to add some some detail and some life and stuff like that uh, to your build. So we're gonna kind of do some stuff like this along our docks. We may eventually even get some sort of a ship in here, uh, but we're not at that point yet. So let me finish getting this other dock done and I'll be back with you in a sec. All right guys, so that is taken care of. Now we need to establish kind of a little area here for how these docks are going to look because right now we've got this uh, ground underneath, which is mostly s oh, small stones. That's, oh, gravel essentially. Um, but we don't necessarily want that. So I'm thinking like right here, we're gonna make like a little wall that kind of comes across uh, and maybe it ends right about here, I'm thinking. Uh, and this will be kind of like our, our, the edge of our dock. So for that, let's grab some cobblestone. And let's just kind of put that in the water down here. Um, and right here, maybe. Get that underneath there as well. Bring that across there, that looks good. And right here. So this will kind of uh, support the dock area. And then maybe on top of it, uh, actually, you know, I'd really prefer slabs. Maybe on top of it we'll put like stone brick slabs or something. How does that look? Yeah, it looks all right. You can do something like that. So basically it's just a, just a little dock here. You just kind of separate some things out. Uh, keeps everything all nice and tidy. Uh, and I'm thinking right here we'll break those. What? There we go. And let's replace that and that as well. So this is one of our dock areas. Now we've got this space over here as well that we need to fill. So I'm thinking from right about, let's break these, put down another stone slab here. I'm thinking here to about here we'll go and put down some oak planks like that. 
So that looks nice and uh, cobblestone, come back to me. There we go. And we'll just kind of do this little deal here as well once again. Bring those up and maybe over here we'll bring it up a little bit higher. So we can kind of define where the exit is for the docks, right? So like this would be our entrance or our exit out of here or something like that. Maybe not. Maybe we'll do something different here. For now, let's just leave it like this and we'll kind of figure out the rest of that in a little bit. So we've got one dock area that's relatively good. Um, I do want to kind of clean this up a bit. Uh, let's go log there and one, two, three, let's put a log here. And we'll do that. So this is our pathway that leads out of this dock area. And that looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Now I need to do relatively the same thing over here. So let me get some work done on that and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got this other dock all in place as well. There's some other things we can do with this that we'll come back and do later. Like if I want to put boats in here, any of that kind of stuff, ships, all that kind of stuff, we'll be able to do that. Uh, but we'll do that at a later time. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Um, now we do need to kind of sort out our exit out of here. And I think this one is going to be a little bit easier to do. So let's grab ourselves some oak stairs right here. And I think we'll make our exit out right about there. That should be good. And we can kind of bring this up a little bit. And fill that in. So right here would be the exit out of this docks and then over here we've got a little area like right here as well. Now our walkways are not going to be made of wood. Uh, we're not going to do that but uh, actually right here come to think of it I think I'd prefer a slab. Yeah for sure I like that much better. So uh, I don't know what our road design, our pathways are going to be just yet, but we're going to figure something out and it will be gorgeous and beautiful. I, I, I assure you of that. Um, I'm thinking there's a lot of really cool stuff in here, actually, as far as that goes. Uh, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of great pathway type blocks. In fact, you can even look masonry. There's tons of like this plastered stone. This could be an option, um, something like that perhaps mixed with, oh, I don't know, there's chiseled stone brick, there's, I mean, there's just tons of different things we could use as a pathway, um, absolutely insane amounts of it, like cobblestone and uh, you name it, we'll come up with something and it'll be great. Um, but I think that's all I have time for in this episode, guys, I just want to kind of show you some of the planning and get a little bit of work done here on the docks. So, that's going to do it for me. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, and if you're looking forward to this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.